In this presentation, we're going to take a look at the QuickBooks Online free test drive. Note that the free test drive is different than the free 30-day trial. They're both free, and I would suggest using them both for this course. So we've looked at the free 30-day trial, and that gives us a fresh QuickBooks Online uh, software that we can practice with, and we can enter data from scratch and work through a practice problem as we will do. That is great. However, when we start the course, when we first look at the navigation through the course, there's no data yet in that file. It's great that there's no data in it because that means we could populate it from scratch and that's where we learn the most. However, when we just want to learn navigation through a, a QuickBooks file, it's nice to have free data already populated within it. For that, the free test drive file is great. So what you want to do is search for the free test drive file. That file will be uh, Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. This is not a not-for-profit organization, but when we go through the navigation process and just and look at reports and, and populate different reports, you'll be able to use some of the same functions with this file. So as we go through the first component, the first part of the course, just for the navigation, we suggest using this free test drive file so that there's some information that will be populated in it. Then when we start to, to have the new information, when we start to make a file from scratch for the not-for-profit organization, then you're going to go into your free 30-day file, which will have a new company that you can start from scratch. Let's look at this in more detail. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online. Here we are on a Google search. So if you're going to look for the free test drive, you want to type into a Google search or your favorite browser, whatever that may be, QuickBooks Online free test drive. Note this is different than when you want to have the free 30-day trial period, which in that case, you want to go to the Intuit website, which we'll show you as well in the Intuit website, and then go into QuickBooks Online, and then hit this little item up top, which will take you to the free test drive, and that's the free trial. These two things are different, and like I say, we, we recommend using them both. This is going to be the primary tool we want here to get a fresh file to start from scratch. However, again, when you first start off the company, or when we first start off the course, there's no data. There'll be no data in this file. So when you just think about navigating through and just what do the reports look like, you won't have any data to look at. So for that, then, we suggest going to the free test drive, which you could type in QuickBooks Online free test drive. Now, also note, you may have some problems if you're using the, the same uh, search engine to have both of these things open at the same time. In other words, if you have this file open, you've got the free 30-day trial open, and then you go in and try to open in the same uh, browser the, the test drive, you, you could have some problems. So you might have to log out of one and then go into the other, or you can use different search engines. For example, you could use, like I'm using Firefox here to go into this item, and then Google Chrome to go into my other account. That way it doesn't mess things up to see you logged in in two different QuickBooks files. So in any case, uh, just be aware of that. So, in any, so then we would then uh, type this into your favorite browser. And then you'll see something like uh, test drive QuickBooks Online. That's what you want. The test drive different than the 30-day trial. So we're going to go into the test drive. And this will not save your data, the test drive. It's just going to be a, a, a file that uh, will have data in it that you can just go into, anybody can go into it, and it'll basically reboot, reset every time you every time you leave it. So then we're gonna do the little confirmation thing here that I'm sure you've seen before, and then we will continue in. So here it is, it's uh, Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. So again, this is not a not-for-profit organization, but it does use some job costing, so you can see some of those items. And then if we just think about the navigation, when we think about you know the drop-downs and using different reports and using items, it will at least have some data in there so you won't be able to match it up exactly to, to the file that we'll be looking at because we're going to be looking at the completed project of the work that we will be putting together but you will actually be able to see some data when you go down to the reports for example and we start to consider the different types of default reports that are are available for quickbooks online when we start to populate those reports such as a balance sheet and an income statement you'll at least be able to open those up and uh, see that see some data within it and then, and then adjust some of your options along with us. Again, the numbers will not be the same, but you will be able to see the data here. You'll be able to, to adjust the dates up top and, uh, and do some comparisons with it. Then once we're done with the first component, once we're done with the first part of the course where we're just looking at the navigation 
and looking at at forms that's going to be a, a short part component of the course then you're going to jump into the the test drive the 30-day free trial that's what we would recommend doing you could stick with the with with uh, in, entering this information here or just following along with your own file but really to get the most out of it you want a fresh quickbooks file at that point and then you can start you can practice just populating this information in and once you understand that well then you can apply those concepts and those principles to your own obviously a not-for-profit organization as well that's going to be it for now let's get out of here